Thank you very much for staying with us now. Sink or Sink tells the story of Rachel, a Mozambican domestic worker living in Johannesburg, who's forced to make a life-changing decision after her daughter dies while under the care of employers Michelle and Chris Jordan. The film, which was released last Friday, has been uh, overwhelmed by the positive reaction by viewers. Writer and director Brett Michael Innes and actress Anel Alexander join me in studio to share some insights on the film. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for being here. What is it about these powerful stories, Brett, that we love at the moment? It's moved away from the rom-coms are important, they'll always have a space, but we almost feel like we're telling real stories. I think we want more as audiences. Uh, it's definitely space for rom-coms. Like, if you want to go out for a good Friday night, that is what you want, but... I think the movies that move us and sit with us that we talk about for years to come are these dramas that reflect where we are as a society. And now we've given away very little about what the film's about. What is the film about? It touches on a lot of different themes. I think um, as South Africans, we tend to make films that, that typically look at the past. We, we're, we love making our movies about the Boer War or apartheid or mm. those things, whereas Sync is a film that very much looks at where we are at today mm. as a community. And we touch on themes of loss, of grief, um, forgiveness, um, and dealing with guilt. And, and I think it's very topical for where we are at as a society. It's, uh, I mean, we, we're so amazed. We, we filmed, we went into production about a year ago. Mm. And the film's release, timed with everything going on in South Africa mm. at the moment, has Perfect just been yeah. amazing. And then, uh, apart from amazing, the film gets a great reaction that walks away with five awards audiences are responding to it and it's the kind of success that as a production team crew people involved that you kind of dream of because you want south africans to watch south african stories absolutely i mean we've been overwhelmed by the critics the press their responses and then just how much of the audience has actually come out for what is quite a hard sell as a movie i mean it's a it's a drama that really moves you mm. a lot of people will choose to go for the the popcorn kind of film mm. But to see how audiences really have embraced it and then for us to sit in viewings to kind of sneak into the movies and to watch people overwhelmed by emotion to see them sit till the credits have actually ended uh, running so they can compose mm. themselves and leave uh, is, is such a compliment to the film i don't know if this is a difficult question but maybe you need to divorce yourself in order to answer this what makes this such a great movie to watch and know I mean, apart from the stunning cast, crew, great director. Look, we, we both produced on the film yeah. as well. So you're basic. This is our child. This is our baby. So you're, you're asking <laughs> it's me now. a very now. difficult question. So of course, I think it's amazing and okay. fantastic. I think what's it's um, I think it's good. Our, our industry, the industry and our audience as South Africans needed this film now. We needed to show that we can tell different stories. We can make other things than the, the rom-coms or the easy watching th films and I think that's why we've been so blown away with the response because we were very nervous we weren't sure mm. is the audience ready for this um, are, are they going to go out and see this and that's because why the they response vote directly with buying a ticket so. absolutely um, plus then we very much wanted to make a film as well that can travel which mm. feels like now we've, we, we're making South African films that do well in South Africa but we, we're, we're struggling to make the ones that, that travel beyond the borders that, yeah. that can sh showcase mm. the, and show to the world the, the film's going to Atlanta the Atlanta Film Festival we're going to Amsterdam and then from there starting our international film festival circuit and it's been cool. amazing to see the response from overseas going really this is a south african film mm -hmm. yeah. I, brit from a director perspective yeah. the person who's got to lead that i mean there's the pre prod and all that kind of stuff but from the the guy who's got the vision who's got yeah. to ultimately put it together how great was this cast because i you, you've got to be able <laughs> to find the people that convey a story that as mm. and i was saying translates past a south african african border yeah. that sits with somebody in iraq mm. or somebody in america and that is comes down to this talent yeah i was blown away by the three leads but then also all the the bit parts we whether someone had 10 seconds of screen time they were a professional actor who could lead a film in their own right and I, I think what I just loved is how they responded to the subtle notes we were trying to push, the direction that really has been complimented by people. And I, uh, uh, Jacques, the, uh, one of the, the other leads, has said it's one of the few films he's done where he can watch it over and over because he's so in awe of what everyone else is doing. Mm. And I really do feel the same thing. It's like I've watched it about 300, 400 times, but I'm just in love Phew. with watching what these actors bring to the screen. Uh, the five awards you've won, which were? 
Um, we were nominated for, for nine awards okay. at the Silver Scadam F- Film Festival last year, and we walked away with five of them. Uh, best script, best editing, best uh, actress for Shoki Mokapa, best score. The score is incredible. Mm. Um, and then best cinematography for, for Trevor Calvary. Yeah. And we've really, we've put together a world-class team mm. uh, behind the camera and in front of the camera. And, and of that, I'm, I'm very proud mm. that the film, I believe, will stand its own mm. on an international stage. Okay, big question. South Africans, Africans, everyone wants to know where can we go, where can we see it? Cinemas nationwide. I think if you jump onto Sturkenik or New Metro, see which cinema closest to you it's playing at. Um, yeah, we're on our second week, so it's really wow. important that people actually come and watch it now because these movies don't have a tradition of running for a month. So if you are wanting to see it, go this weekend, go tomorrow on the public holiday and show that you really want to see these kinds of stories told by voting with your ticket. Cool. And we want everybody to go and check it out. We want everybody. Let's try and break the box office record here for a film of this genre. Everybody, family, friends, enemies, let's come together. Let's go and watch it. Writer, director, Brett Michael Innes and actress Anel Alexander talking to us about Sing Sing. It's a first for Afrikaans films and nothing short of boundary breaking. It's already won five awards. It was nominated nine times. Go and check it out. I I recommend it. I recommend it. Go and get some popcorn. Go and check it out. Let's go.